Governor Mike Parson is closing in on a full year of coronavirus management from the initial infections in Missouri to the first vaccinations here and with a gubernatorial election in there somewhere. KRCG 13's Jessica Hart recently sat down with Missouri's chief executive for an exclusive interview. It's hard not to go a single day without talking about the coronavirus. And for Governor Mike Parson, he has the added pressure of making decisions related to COVID-19 for the entire state. In an exclusive interview with KRCG, Governor Parson says this past year wasn't easy. For over 10 months, the state of Missouri has been fighting the coronavirus, putting those in a position of power in the spotlight. It's been a difficult time, to say the least. Uh, it, to be in this position, you know, it's... it's uh, Bill story, danged if you do and danged if you don't. We're almost at the one year mark of the pandemic. What's it been like for you leading the state through such a difficult time? It is very difficult. Every day there's multiple decisions you have to make. There's multiple data sources out there and you've got to be able to always focus. What is the best thing for the people of my state? What is the best thing for Missouri? Missouri is a mixture of urban and rural, meaning there is no one size fits all approach. It's been a challenge uh, to say the least. And when you got St. Louis, Kansas, Columbia, Springfield, kind of your metropolitan areas, but yet you've got Carter County, you've got Mercer County in this state with three or four thousand people, and how do you, how do you get that equality to all of those people uh, it is very difficult in our state because we're so diverse. Getting the vaccine to rural areas is why Governor Mike Parson says the National Guard was called in. We want to use all the resources we can. For example, St. Louis, Kansas City, Columbia has a lot of resources in the healthcare industry. But when you go to places like Sedalia, Missouri, Warrensburg, uh, Joplin, other areas across state popular bluff does not have the resources. We have a new president and Joe Biden who has his own plan on vaccine distribution. What's it been like working with his team to try to increase the number of vaccines Missouri is getting? We had a call with them this week. They said they were going to increase the allotments about 16%. That was good news to us. But last month, Missouri received some bad news from the CDC, ranking the show me state last in the nation for vaccine distribution. On January 25th, the CDC reported Missouri had vaccinated 242,937 people. Governor Parson doesn't agree with the CDC and says its information was not correct. On that same day, in an email to KRCG 13, a spokesperson for the Department of Health and Senior Services stated over 351,000 doses have been administered so far. You have to look at data in bunches. You just can't take one thing and look at it. And the CDC uh, we talked to the White House about that this week. Other states were having the same problem we have, but their information they were using for Missouri was three days old. So if we were getting compared to another state, they didn't have three days of our data that had put in the system yet. And I want to make the point, the White House is aware of that, that they're going to make changes in that. For now, Governor Parson says they'll stick to the plan. We're going to win this battle. I, I'm, I'm just telling you, we're going to win this battle, but people are going to have to be patient to understand we're going to keep the tiers in place, the plan we have, and we're going to execute that plan. Governor Parson says it's difficult to look at the data on any given day because there are multiple data points and metrics to examine. He says the best source of information is the state's COVID vaccine website.